So while browsing the internet, I was able to find a button which works like this and I found it on code pen and now I'm not able to find it where it was so that I can link in description. But I was trying to recreate it with my own coding and in Elementor. So you can see how nice this looks with a cool animation. And you can see that I've actually created more tutorials on button before. For example, I actually have uh, lots of Elementor templates for like free uh, that you could download like form buttons and accordion and stuff. And in that one, one of the template is my button template, which is also like downloaded a lot. So if I go to my live demo, I showcase the previous buttons that I have made. So you can download this today and you can see this animations like this. And then I also created a video recently, which does this button animation. You can see we give a button uh, our hat. And then I also created this animation where it does this glow effect. You could see with all of this. But today I decided to try this one and let's now learn how we can make this. And it's very easy to make. You can just make it uh, like very quickly and it also looks nice. So how about we get started? So I'm just going to create a new container temporary. You don't have to follow these steps. I'm just creating a new temp, uh, new section to just showcase how to make the template. Oh, sorry, the button. So right now, what I'm going to simply do is let me just make it a bit more bigger. Okay, like this. So wherever you want to create this button, all you simply need to do is add a container. And also one more thing that you do require Elementor Pro for this because we are going to use custom CSS. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, there's a link in description that you could use to get Elementor Pro today. Okay. So just make a, temp uh, make a container wherever you want. And I'm going to give this container a full width and I'm going to choose pixels. I'll make it 200 pixels. You could choose any size you want and I'll make it 100. Okay. Maybe we do 250 by 100. Let's just play around with values until we find something. So let's do 250 by 150. And then instead of this, we will add our heading, which is going to be called click here. You could type anything like buy now and all. Do all the settings that you want to do. I'm just going to speed run through it uh, so that we don't have to do like annoying tutorial. And then here, in this section, I'm going to make it go from left to right. Now, why why I'm doing left to right? So I'll just disable it so that I can show you why we are doing that. So in this container, I'll simply add an icon like this. Give this a right icon. So arrow right. Let's add this. Let's make this circle and give it some size of let's say 25, maybe 30. Let's do that. And here we will select left to right like this and you can see why we did that left to right so these are placed in this order and i'm going to do align center so that they are aligned in the center like this if you don't want every element to center in the center you could just do it by every single by selecting every single element and doing align self that way let's say if you had double text and if you did align center it will only work for that one but if you do with in the container like this it will do for every single element so I'll just do it in this way in the container so that it is doing for every single element. By default, Elementor adds some spacing below icons, which is kind of annoying. So let's just remove it by using a negative margin. I'll do minus 10. You could just play around with values until you like find the value. Then here, let's just make it some color so that we can see. So can we can visualize it. Okay. It's we, we choose like a red, red color, ugly red color. So now what we will do is I want this to be at the right corner and we want this to be at the left corner. The easiest way to do this is by using space between. It basically makes it makes the first element at the left and the right element at the end. And depending on the design that you're trying to make, you can uh, use space between or you could use position absolute. But for this one, uh, space between works perfectly. Okay. By default, we have zero padding. So if you want to remove the padding, you could remove it, but I don't want to. Also, I'll make the size a bit bigger in height. So let's do like say 70 for time being, or maybe 60, 60 works, uh, looks good. I'll give this one a border of 25. 
and then i'll simply give it a padding on left and right so let's do 20 and 20 on right i'm just doing random values you will have to play with uh, the container to find something i'll also make it bigger for time being maybe 280 not that big like 280 270 let's do 270 for just the uh, tutorial now here we will just make it uh, let's say what have i used here i've made it white and then let's just make it white and let's just make our text color to be black you could choose any any color you don't have to choose the same ones now now that we have done everything we can simply copy this code and paste it like this by copying this code into our container and if you don't have elementor pro the link is in description and that way you could support me by using the link in description and just paste it in custom css like this and you can see that it is completely working now obviously you can see this thing this stuff are not visible so what we can do is we can select the text go into advance and type 2 so that it is higher and then let's choose this icon and place it to now you don't understand the code just don't worry i'll explain it in a bit uh, let's just play around with the values we have to make this into white like this and let's play around with values like let's make it uh, at 10 from the right maybe 15 okay 15 looks good like this so to explain to you guys how this code works okay now obviously there's still some stuff lef left which is making this text color turn to white when we hover but let before that let me just show you some of the code okay so let's ignore this for now this one actually changes the text to white color when we hover on it but let me show you how this works but before that we will i'll show you this one okay so what we are basically doing is we are actually creating a selector with an after pseudo class so if i let's say delete everything and i create a selector with after pseudo class and then in after and before pseudo classes we have to add something called content and we can keep it blank it, we don't have to do anything if i type red you could say it shows red but we will keep it blank then we will simply add a background color let's say red okay obviously it's not showing but what we could do is we could make a uh, height to be 100 percent width to be 100 percent now obviously it's still not showing let's do z index to 2 obviously it's not showing so what's happening is it is actually getting placed at the end around here so if i type red you could see it is getting placed around here okay so what we are simply going to do is we want this red color so we want this red color to be placed on top of each other so we will give it a position of absolute like this and now it is the same size as our container then we make the left to be zero and we make the top to be zero so it is placed at the left at zero offset and top at zero offset now you can see this is what's happening now what i simply do is instead of width being uh, 100 percent i simply make it 22 percent like this what have i used in here i've used 22 percent okay so this is how it looks instead of using left zero i'll turn it to right zero so now it is placed at the right 22 location you could see i'm going to remove the text called red from the content like this okay now this works perfectly uh you can see the text red is around here i removed it and now it is 22 percent you can play around with the values to find something that works like this i choose 22 and inside of this we give a border radius of the same size that we have given it around here so i don't remember what it is so let's go into style border i've given 25 so let's just add a border radius of 25 pixel and you can see we basically created a circle around here and what selector and before class does is it basically it's uh, if you use before it adds the element before that uh, container and if you use after it creates an element after that container and we are basically doing is that we are using those pseudo classes to just place it on top of each other so we basically are creating this red circle and placing it in on top of each other by using position absolute now obviously we want this to uh, increase in size when we hover on it 
So what we can do is we can simply type selector hover after width 200% like this. So now when we hover on it, it basically changes it to 100%. Now we want a transition to happen around here. So we give it a transition of let's say 0.3 seconds. Now you can see it works, but if you, if you just want to give transition to the width property and not to everything, right now you can see I've given transition 0.3. So if you add any other animation, it would work. It would, uh, it would make it have transition of 0.3 second to every single one. So which, if we just want it to width, I can simply type width around here like this and it will only give it to width. So if you uh, do any other animation, it would not do, do it for it. And you can see this is the same code that I've used. So content, height, width, background, position, right, top, border radius, transition, selector hover and width. And you can see this is what it does. So if you want it to be a different timing, you could change this. If you want a different color, you could just add a different color around here by using hash value or just typing a text like this and making the width like this. So if you, if you want, you could even do 80%. So it just like it does something like this. You could see, I don't want that. I'll keep it like this. Now we want this text to change color too. So in this text, we will give it a class so that we can control it. And I'll call this, let's say, tutorial text so tutorial text like this and let's go to our container which is this one go to custom css and then let's type selector hover so when we hover on this container i want my tutorial text to change the color to white like this and you can see it is not working if you click on here you could see that because we have used a heading tag, uh, it is using HTML tag H2. And usually for a button, you don't really use anything from this one. H1 to H6, you don't really use. But let's say if you want to understand why it's happening, you could basically add an H2 tag around here. And you could say it works, but this is not a good practice because we don't like, we shouldn't use a H2 tag to a button because not good for SEO. So let's just make this to P, which is a paragraph. Let's just give it some size like this. And now if I click on this one and then go into my this stuff, you could see that it is actually changing on hover. But another thing is let's just give this a black color and you could see it does not work anymore. So let's say if you had something different color like this red, you could say it, would have, it wouldn't have worked. So what we can do. So what we have to do is simply select this color and make it clear. And instead of giving color from this one, we will actually go to custom CSS uh, in this container. Instead of giving the color from that selection from Elementor editor, we will do it with our CSS and we will give a color of something like this from here. So you could add any hash value and you can say it works, but again, it changes very fast. So we can basically add a transition for color and make this, let's say 0.3 seconds too. Okay. So now it slowly changes color like this. So all we simply need to do is make this black or any color that you want. And you can see it simply works. So one simple thing that you need to remember is make sure that this one is not set to anything H1 to H6. You could do P span div, I believe. And this would work. And to if you want to make this responsive, you can see. If you want to make this responsive, you could just play around with the values like this, make it 150, make the size different. And obviously, if you know what media queries are, just search for media queries and then do media queries for each one of the CSS. Now, another thing is if we choose this container, we want to give it a link, right? So make sure you go to additional option, HTML and click a link. And here you could give any link. Now, remember that when it, when we use this one, we cannot have any other link inside of this. So do make sure you don't give any link to this uh, arrow. You don't give this any link to this heading. Make sure this is all empty. Make sure this is all empty and only give the link around here, a link. And that's how easily you could create this button. And again, if you wish to have some of this uh, buttons, which is like glow buttons and all, just check my website. 
will find everything that you want the buy decoration one and this uh, free button collection that you want and i'm working on the version 2 this is version 1 and this one would be available in version 2 whenever it's ready so yeah thanks for watching if you want anything more just like and subscribe and that's all thank you